the Duchess of Cornwall has issued a rallying cry to combat the shame and litter crisis in the UK, as she was pictured dancing on a visit to a Jewish care centre in London. Not knowing the words or the steps, the smiling Duchess of Cornwall still gamely took the hand of Labour peer Lord Levy as he led her to floor at Jewish Cares Brenner Centre in Stepney, East London, at an event to mark its 80th anniversary. The 71-year-old royal was twirled around by a sprightly 86-year-old who could not believe his luck that one of the youngest women in the room wanted to dance. Camilla, a keen litter picker herself, said pressure needed to be put on companies such as McDonald's to encourage customers to dispose of their rubbish properly, possibly even through fines. The places I drive about around the country, especially on motorways and major roads, when the grass has been cut, you see it completely covered with this terrible litter, she said. We know we have to do something about it. Somehow we've got to get to the top, business, owners to find some way of finding their customers if they don't put their cups and things into the bin. I notice, certainly in Wiltshire, around a lot of the big stores and a lot of the McDonald's, dare I say it, it's absolutely knee-high in litter. It's shaming, really. Camilla was speaking during a visit to the Malmesbury Residents Association in Tower Hamlets, East London, which has been working with the charity Cleanup UK, of which she is president, to transform the area. She added, We need a lot of young people to get out there on an afternoon, a nice afternoon, and pick up litter. We can get them all at it. The Daily Mail has campaigned tirelessly over litter in our towns and countryside. Last year our great plastic pickup was hailed a triumph by Theresa May as 20,000 volunteers removed tons of rubbish the length and breadth of the UK. In just three days, they collected enough litter to fill 17,000 wheelie bins and 120,000 bags of bottles, aluminium and waste. This Saturday the Mail will relaunch the campaign with Keep Britain Tidy to urge people to give the nation a spring clean from March 22 to April 23. Camilla arrived at the Caxton Hall Community Centre yesterday through an honour guard of litter pickers held by pupils. She was wearing a suitably green suit by Bruce Oldfield and carrying a 295 pounds green Demilier Mini Venice bag like the one the Duchess of Sussex has been seen with recently. Youngsters including pupils of Central Foundation Girls School have been picking up litter in the area. They are really passionate about it, said their teacher, Kamal Ali. Camilla was given personalized litter pickers for Princes William and Harry following their revelation last year that Prince Charles would make them pick litter on holiday as children. She waved the tools and said, I will deliver these personally. I will say they are real pros at the job. They have been taught by their father, as you know he is a passionate litter picker. George Monk, chief executive of Cleanup UK said they would go about their work with added vigor given Camilla was such an avid litter picker. Once she starts litter picking, you can't stop her, he said, prompting a smile from Camilla. We've had a comment in the past, well if a duchess can pick up litter, then anyone can. Plastic pun nets for grapes are to be replaced with cardboard alternatives by Waitrose. The cardboard pun nets, which can be recycled will be used for the Waitrose Dutchy Organic and Waitrose One Sable Grapes. It will remove 12 tons of plastic a year. The Dutchy brand was set up by Prince Charles and is now owned by the store. Abraham David, from Shadwell, who linked arms with the Duchess as they spun around, said afterwards, It was a lovely, wonderful experience, I think I'm dreaming. She put her hand out to mine and wanted to dance, I couldn't believe it. I won't sleep tonight I'm so excited. Camilla was following in the footsteps of other royals who have visited the centre, located at the Stepney Jewish Community Centre, including the Queen's grandmother Queen Mary who opened the service in 1938. But it seems she is the only one to have danced there, thanks to the encouragement of singer Beverly Stone, who regularly performs for the elderly clients. Stepney is an area of East London once famous for its vibrant Jewish community and the Brenner Centre provides a place for many of its elderly residents to meet up with friends, enjoy activities and hot kosher food. It also provides therapeutic activities for anyone needing special care or experiencing bereavement or isolation. For many clients it is the only time they leave their homes each week.
Camilla chatted to 92-year-old Lillian Lebby who came to the center the year it opened as a young girl, when she came to live in the area following the death of her mother, and listened intently as she described how it has supported her over the decades. This place saved my life, it is my lifeline and my haven, she said. An afternoon tea was served for the visit and Camilla spent her time turning the tables and chatting to members of the Jewish community telling one group we all feel young inside. She also met the center's oldest member Beatty Orwell, a former mayoress of Tower Hamlets who at 101 is the center's oldest visit and still managed to join the Duchess for her dance. The pensioner took part in the famous Battle of Cable Street in 1936, joining the East End community's stand against a march by Oswald Mosley's fascists. She also joked with Sparky Renee Stack, 92, who proudly showed her a wedding photograph with her handsome late husband Brian. Camilla admired the picture and said, He's very handsome, isn't he? Like Errol Flynn. Before leaving the Duchess unveiled a plague to mark her visit and told the guests, I sometimes go to places which are a bit sad, but this place is one of the most uplifting centers I've ever been to, meeting all you wonderful, inspirational people has been a real treat. She added, How most of you look so young, I don't know. Camilla also visited the Malmesbury Residents Association for a reception with members of the local AGUK Lunch Club.